excited to see you this week. So last week we started our fitness journey. You can watch that video. I'll tag it for you. But last week was the week of Thanksgiving. So while I was making fitness a priority, I was also making apple pie a priority because it was so good. So this week I want to pick up on healthy habits and eating healthy too, which is hard for me to do because I love to eat out. But we're going to do our best to try. And I want to share that with you. So why don't we just stop talking because I can see myself procrastinating. We're going to go to the grocery store. We're going to clean out the fridge. We're going to get the week started on a bright note. Okay, let's get started. Is it good for you or not? It seems healthy. I don't, I don't know. I'm enjoying the last few minutes of my lunch break. Charlie and I went on a walk earlier, so I'm trying to get more movement on breaks rather than scroll on my phone. And I think work creates a lot of bad habits. I was really stressed out last week from work, but I didn't talk too much about it because I don't really know how much people care about that. I think that we all have jobs that stress us out. It is important to share some of the way that we're feeling and the stressors that we experience because for me personally, if I'm having a bad day at work, I will just be lazy. I'll veg out on the couch. I'll order the takeout just to feel comfort. So I'm trying to really retrain my brain to find healthier ways to cope during stress. Alrighty, time for our first workout of the week. Now, for some reason, I was feeling super energetic after work, which never happened. So I decided to capitalize on this and try a new workout. And we're doing Pilates. This workout terrified me. I am recovering from a lower back injury. I slipped a disc in my lower back earlier this year. So there's a lot of things that I couldn't do for a long period of time, but I'm finally in recovery. <laughs> I think that sounds weird, but I'm doing a lot better and I'm encouraged to incorporate some more movement and core building exercises. Check out Charlie trying to take my life out with his big stretch. <gasps> But overall, this was challenging, but I didn't leave feeling defeated. I feel energized for future Pilates classes. I'm pretty sure I wore this sweater yesterday, but I promise you it's a new day. And today is actually really cold for Florida standards. It's around 50 degrees and I can feel it in my bone, which is so crazy because I grew up in Queens, New York. Most of my life, I thrived in 30 degree weather, but here I just can't do it. And I don't want to change out of my comfy outfit. All complaining aside, I am excited about today's workout because we're gonna be doing cycling and I find cycling to be just one of those fun exercises that doesn't really feel like you're exercising until they tell you to pump up the resistance and then you're dying in the next breath. Apple Fitness does have this Beyonce Renaissance playlist for one of their cycling workouts and I just I really love that one so maybe I will do that I don't know I don't know what I'm feeling I do want to pat myself on the back today because I did encounter a few scenarios today both professional and personal where people were just trying to bring me down normal me I'm not even gonna say the old me because we're still evolving but the normal me usually feeds off of other people's moods and energy. And if someone's in a bad mood, then it makes me feel like I have to do everything I can to put them back in the right mood and people pleasing and all that. And I'm just like, you know what? You want to be in a bad mood? Go be in a bad mood by yourself because this girl is going to exercise to Beyonce today. <laughs> Hey, tell me what it's like to live with superpowers. I don't know, but I'm a kid. I'm a kid. I'm a kid. I'm a kid. I just know that I'm a kid. 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 I'm a kid.
I just realized that many bulbs have burnt out. I've had this tree for about three years and it's so like sparse. It looks like a man trying to cover up his bald spots. Like, what? We need, we need a little TLC. <laughs> It is time for the reveal, but keep your expectations low. I had to work late the past two days, and I also kept up on my chores, but I couldn't manage a full workout. Although I did do a three mile walk with Charlie, I felt disappointed because that's something that we do every single day. So I felt like I should have done more, but I need to remind myself that for these habits to stick, they should be sustainable. I should give myself credit. I'm really trying my best. I did try to make myself feel a little bit better by cooking a very nutritious meal and I'm just following a recipe out of the first watch cookbook. This is the pesto chicken bowl with quinoa and it is so delicious. If you live by a first watch, I definitely recommend giving this order a try or just make it at home yourself. I am feeling very overwhelmed right now and I feel like I made a mistake because earlier this week I was like feeling festive and happy and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have people over this Friday and I'm going to cook dinner for everyone because that is something that I don't do. That sounds great in theory, but it's really crappy when you have to work all day and work is crazy and you don't really have any breaks. I have one break and that's my lunch break. So I'm going to run over to the grocery store, get all my ingredients, run back, get a shower, fix my face, and then I have to get right back to work. Did I make a mistake by doing this on a Friday night when I have to work. <sighs> I don't know, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> What are we making? Chicken piccata. We're making chicken piccata and now I need to go take a shower. Eight minutes to finish the rest of our fate. I'm ready. It is 103. All right, now I have work for the next three hours and I have over 30 emails that I need to answer. So I'm gonna go sit my butt down and not think about the mess that I made in the bathroom when I was throwing clothes and makeup and my hair products. We'll deal with that later. Let's get back to work. Dinner is canceled. Why did I make myself into the biggest fool running around on my lunch break, taking the quickest shower? I took a shower so quick that I barely even shaved properly. I have a patch of hair still on my knee that I missed and I can see it peeking out. Dinner is canceled and we have rescheduled it to another day, but I paid so much money for all the ingredients to make dinner tonight. It doesn't really make sense to spend more money on something else like take out. Being said, I think I'm gonna continue with making dinner and I want to take Charlie out on a date. I want to take him to go look at Christmas light. And I really want to move my body. I can't believe that I'm only on the second week of working out. But I'm actually excited to work out. I look forward to it. And that's what we're going to do. So let's quickly go get changed. And we're going to go hit up the cycling room. And then when we're back, date night star. What am I doing with my hands? I think I'm really energetic because I've had a good work week for once and that does not happen very often. So I just have to say that was one of the most intense workouts I've had in a while and I feel wonderful and I'm so excited for dinner. But first we have our date. We're gonna go see the Christmas lights. We're gonna go on a date, me and you. 
we went to go do our Christmas lights and stuff. And then I was like, you know what? Let's go buy this big ass tree. I'm gonna take a photo of Charlie. I always take a photo of him by some big old tree every single year. And as we finish our little photo shoot, I turn around and what do you know? Carolers show up carolers i didn't take any video of the caroling because the carolers were in the fourth grade just little itty bitty babies singing it was it was amazing while i prepared dinner i figured we could hang out a little bit as if you were actually the one coming over and tell you how good it feels to just be here and be creating i will say is that i felt so hopeless for a very long time and just not good enough for anything and a failure. I am really thankful though for the people online that reach out to me and ask me how I'm doing or even the messages of when are you gonna make more videos? I mean, it's such a small amount of people but that really means the world to me and I think about those people a lot. Dinner is finally ready. So, gosh, I hope I don't make a mess. We have our chicken piccata. I really hope I see you in the next video. Please leave me comments and feedback on this one. What can I do better? Am I talking too much? What do you want me to show more of? Tell me. I will consider it. Bye.